since Thor Ragnarok comes out in a couple weeks and I'm really excited for it, I decided to review the first two Thor films before Ragnarok comes out. Based on the earlier reviews, I'm really excited for Ragnarok, but for now, I'm going to review Thor. Thor. Thor came out in 2011, directed by Kenneth Branagh, and stars Chris Hemsworth, Natalie Portman, Tom Hiddleston, Idris Elba, and Anthony Hopkins. It's about Thor, who's about to be claimed King of Asgard, but then something happens, and then he finds out that he's not going to be claimed King of Asgard, and then he commits a very arrogant act, and due to his arrogance, Odin takes away his powers and casts him out to Earth. While he's down at Earth, he meets a scientist played by Natalie Portman, and he has to try to regain his powers. And also, Loki is discovering some secrets. Back in 2010, when I saw the trailer for Thor, I didn't know what to expect. This, I was liking the Phase 1 Marvel movies up till that point. I loved Iron Man. I even enjoyed The Incredible Hulk. Iron Man 2 is okay, but Thor... It's like, okay, this could be interesting, maybe this could be good, and saw the movie, and I liked it, and I haven't watched it in a while, I can't remember, like, 2013 or 14, when was the last time I watched this movie, so I was interested to rewatch this movie, and I still like it, I still think it holds up, it's a very good superhero movie, I don't think it's one of the best MCU movies, but it is still enjoyable. What works about this movie? My favorite part of this movie are the visuals, particularly the look of Asgard. It looks grand. It looks incredible. It's like, wow, this looks amazing. I think Kenneth Branagh did a fantastic job getting the grand scope of Asgard. It looks so huge and amazing and it looks so great. I'd say it's up there with Doctor Strange as one of Marvel's most visually amazing films. It's that good. And the performances in this movie are top notch too. Chris Hemsworth is absolutely perfect as Thor. He's funny, likable, charismatic. No, he is naive and arrogant. He does become a likable character at the end. Natalie Portman does a good job too as the scientist or slash love interest that Thor befriends on Earth. I thought she did pretty good. Idris Elba as Heimdall, I thought he did a pretty good job. Anthony Hopkins is great as Odin. And the one standout in this movie is Tom Hiddleston as Loki, who just owned this role. He is Loki. He's fantastic in this movie. Not just a great villain, but we understand his motivations, and it's all clear as like why he's doing what he's doing, and he's almost a sympathetic villain, and I think he's probably the best MCU villain because Loki is awesome and I can't wait to see him in Ragnarok. Even though there's still not a lot of action, when there is action, it is very entertaining. Particularly the scene where Thor, Loki, and his warrior friends go to battle the frost giants and it is a lot of fun to watch and there is one scene where like Thor takes his um, hammer like through frost giants mouth. Oh that was awesome. And when, even though there is a minimal amount of action, it's still entertaining to watch. And so there's some good comedy too, and like the scene where like Thor's like, yeah, I like this drink. Another, and he smashes the cup to the ground. And I also like, even though this like a fish out of water story with Thor on Earth, and I like how he's like, how is this thing? He doesn't like demand explanations or anything, and he just like goes along with it. It was like, oh, this is what you people do on Earth? Okay, I like that. Also, there is a scene in a pet shop and Thor just comes in and says, I need a horse! And the owner says, we don't have horses. We have dogs, cats, and birds. And Thor says, give me those one large enough to fly. And uh, it's, that was so funny. Sadly, I do have some problems with this movie. I'll get to those right now. First, while I liked how Kenneth Branagh directed this movie, particularly the look of Asgard, the Dutch angles just got so annoying. I was like, um, Kenneth Branagh, I like you as director, but please knock it off with the Dutch angles. I Can you please just get a shot where I don't feel like I'm going to be worried I'm going to break my neck? Just don't make me watch the movie like this or this. It just got 
so distracting. Not all the humor in this movie, it's particularly Kat Dennings, who is pretty annoying in this movie, and she wasn't really funny at all. Not as annoying as in The Dark World. Not there yet. Besides those problems, I really enjoyed Thor all these years. It still holds up, it's entertaining, not one of the best MCU films, but I still enjoy it nonetheless. And if you haven't seen this film in a while, or if you haven't seen it, I, I'd say I recommend it. Definitely give it a watch, definitely rewatch it before Thor Ragnarok. It's a good introduction to the character. Overall, I'm gonna give Thor four stars out of five. I really enjoyed it. Definitely like the action, when there is action, the performances are good, the visuals are great. It's an enjoyable movie. Next week I will be doing a review of Thor The Dark World. Can't wait to review that. And what do you guys think of Thor? Do you agree? Disagree with me? Let me know below. Make sure to like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe if you're new here. It really means a lot. I'm Jack Benner and look forward to another movie review.